Hello out there and welcome to The Daily Five. I'm Cliff Cumber. James Bond. Bond may have his chance to make a new friend, and I'm not talking about Facebook friending. Jennifer Aniston has admitted that she could see herself as a Bond girl someday down the line. In a recent interview in Britain, Aniston said she'd love to do an action movie. Bond producers, are you listening? Nothing takes away the bad taste of a political scandal better than a six-figure book deal. We all knew it was coming, but former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich wasted little time in signing it. The ink was barely dry on his impeachment documents before he wanted to tell his side of the story. Well, to have us pay for him to tell his side of the story. Anyway, the book, with a working title currently of The Governor, will be out in October and we'll discuss the dark side of politics he witnessed in both the state and national level. And if you're getting impeached, you probably know a little something about the dark side of politics. The 2008 Australian epic romance titled, well, Australia, which is probably a bit different from Crocodile Dundee. The cool that a knife is in stores today. The movie stars Nicole Kidman and Oscars host Hugh Jackman. Can't wait for Wolverine. But don't worry, if the serious stuff isn't for you, you could also find Beverly Hills Chihuahua also in stores today. As if Taco Bell didn't punish us enough. Sitcoms and dramas are in repeat tonight, but if you're a reality fan, then you're in luck. Take your pick of American Idol on Fox or Biggest Loser. Put those two things together. A uh, couple's edition on NBC, both start at 8. Decisions, decisions. And finally, it took until March, but we finally got a good old snowstorm yesterday. Sure, we didn't get a whole lot of it, but it was enough to cancel school and for the kids to get out and enjoy the snow. Kind of like these folks in Spring Ridge. That's all for this edition of The Daily Five. I'm Cliff Cumber. Cheerio.